Here's to honor among thieves. We almost pulled it off. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Despite what everybody thought. Wait for them to ask you who you know. They're gonna blame us for the whole thing. We're the patsies. Don't forget, <laughs> we're the bad guys. The stories of Samson leveling a temple with a single push? Or the Philistine weapon of mass destruction named Goliath? The next war will be fought with these metahumans. Please don't fuck Ours or theirs? I want to assemble a task force of the most dangerous people on the planet. I talk to you! No game, no game. Never stand down, made our own way. <laughs> Y'all jokers must be crazy. This is the deal. You're going somewhere very bad. Look at the pretty lights. To do something that'll get you killed. You might want to work on your team motivation thing. You heard of Phil Jackson? Yeah. He's like the gold standard, OK? Triangle, bitch. <laughs> what? to show you my toys. We're going to the swirling ring of trash in the sky. They walk in the park. Easy peasy. Don't make me shoot you. <laughs> Biggest boss and I've been a trellis. I'm a bigger problem when I quit the sprillis. Kicking in the dog for suicide squad. Forgive me for my wrongs, I have just begun. They are so intense. Catching my vibe, but she can't find in my chair. Need a couple gang members for these new endeavors. From this point on, anything we do, we do together. Ain't no mercy. Hey guys. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. New Suicide Squad footage. The movie's coming out this week, so let's do a breakdown. I also have a reminder about the post credit scene at the end of this. A lot of cool new footage in this, but I'm mostly going to focus on the supernatural aspect of the DC Universe. Like, you know because of Batman and Superman, they're getting into more New Gods territory. Well, magic also exists in the DC Universe, so this magic is actually pushing more into that territory, but kind of in a roundabout way, a very, you know, very supernatural kind of magic. So the Enchantress has had a couple different backstory retcons in the comics, but essentially she is the character June Moon, who looks like this, who is possessed by the spirit of a witch. I believe in the context of Suicide Squad, she's an archaeologist. So you see her repelling down here. This is how she becomes possessed by the witch. But even though she fights with the Suicide Squad, like she's one of Amanda Waller's first recruits, like you see her in the White House here. So June Moon tries to use the powers of the Enchantress for good. But several times in the comics, the big twist is, is that her evil enchantress persona takes over at times, like we see later in this trailer here, she goes full-blown enchantress and becomes something of an evil character. So that's why a lot of people are like, oh, she's probably going to be the villain of the movie. But here's where it really gets into supernatural territory. So if you've never read it, there's a big Suicide Squad story that a lot of people think inspired the plot of the movie called the Nightshade Odyssey. Now, Nightshade is another supernatural character that's part of the Suicide Squad, but instead of being possessed by an evil witch, like another persona, like Enchantress is, Nightshade is actually from another dimension. So trapped within this other dimension is like this demonic figure called the Incubus, who's trying to make his way back in and take over the normal dimension. So Enchantress becomes a big part of that story, where it turns out that instead of being possessed by the normal Enchantress spirit that everyone thinks she's possessed by, they secretly learn that it's way worse than that, and the thing that is possessing Enchantress turns out to be much bigger. So it sounds like Suicide Squad is doing a very Ghostbusters-like twist, you know, like with the Sigourney Weaver character, how she becomes possessed. She's kind of a villain of the movie for a period of time, but she's really being possessed by this demonic figure 
that's serving an even bigger demonic figure in this character right here. So based on some of the language in the trailer, like they talk about the big floating ring of trash in the sky, that seems like a plane to one of the dark dimensions in the DC universe. You're, th you're talking like Trigon. Think like really big, supernatural, demonic figures in the DC universe to make his way into our dimension. And the good Enchantress character, the June Moon character that's a member of Suicide Squad, kind of gets roped into that and co-opted, like she gets taken over by this evil spirit. So make no mistake, Enchantress is not the biggest villain in the movie, even though a lot of the marketing materials make her seem that way. I just, I feel like people are confused or they're forgetting the plot of Ghostbusters or they didn't read the Nightshade Odyssey story in the comics. That's actually a really good story to read before you see the movie if you really want to. But just like Batman v Superman didn't do any comic book stories specifically, it was inspired by a couple big Frank Miller stories, it's the same deal with Suicide Squad, so you don't have to read any of the comics. But I just cannot wait to see them bring magic into the DC movie universe. Like when Amanda Waller's telling the story of David versus Goliath, this is the Goliath character, like the other half of that incubus succubus situation, the real character that's possessing Enchantress, like when she goes full Enchantress here. But even through characters like Diablo, you get a, a hint of how magic works in the DC universe. Like you see this face in the flames just a little bit, but you get the idea. Like they're going really weird with this and I totally love it. Most of the powers that we've seen in the DC universe so far are still science-based, like metahumans, like the Flash for instance. So magic is just like the next big barrier to break. But let me know in the comments, like what's your favorite part of this new footage and what do you think is going to happen with magic in the DC universe going forward? Even though I don't think we're going to see every single character from Suicide Squad show up in Justice League, there'll be at least one or two characters. And what's happening here in Midway City, like a giant trash circle in the sky, is so big that of course Bruce Wayne Batman would be talking about it when they're assembling a team. So while each different type of movie has a different type of tone, like Suicide Squad movies will always be in this kind of tone because it's a movie about bad guys doing good things. Then you have the Justice League movies, which have a slightly more positive spin because you have a bunch of heroes coming together or people learning to be heroes. So I just can't wait to see how they sew it all together. Like there's always connective tissue between all the movies. So in related news, I've also heard that there is a mid credit sequence during Suicide Squad. What that means is, is like, you know, when they have the end credits, like just the text flowing through screen telling you who did what in the movie, there's supposed to be a scene right before that. So make sure you stay through the end of the movie just in case. But if you guys didn't know, there's a new round of the DC giveaway that I just started. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video. It's just a $20 Amazon gift card. So what's going to happen is, is I was originally going to do Black Panther video, so I'll just do that next. There might be a couple other things that are dropping in the next couple days too. So a lot of exciting stuff. As Suicide Squad starts to come out, you'll start to see little things from Justice League and the other DC movies too. While you guys wait for my next video to post, you can click here to learn all about the Ben Affleck Batman solo film. And you can click here to learn all about Superman and Superboy on Supergirl Season 2. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.